Okay, so, hi. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I'm blonde now, sort of. Um, so, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be cleaning my room. Um, turning it into a vlog. So, some of you may or may not know that my friend Sarah is moving in in like three weeks. So, I'm rearranging and cleaning my room before she gets here. Um, so this will be interesting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you guys are just kind of coming along for the ride. So, let's get to it. <laughs> I didn't film everything because I FaceTimed Sarah um, while I was doing most of it. So, bed is moved. It's not in the right position yet just because I needed to get the bed moved so I could put the bookshelves over here, which look like this. Um, and then I have one of the desks here. The other one is on the other side of the dresser, which is what you guys are kind of sitting on. Um, right now I'm pulling the dresser out of my closet to put up against the wall so I can put the mirror on top of that. So, yeah, things are going peachy, but, um, yeah, so we shall see what it looks like, um, but, yeah, I'm almost done. I just gotta get all of the books on the bookshelf, which I'm gonna have to move my desk out of the way because it's, like, right in front of one of them, so, yeah, but progress is being made. And I'm really excited. Um, I do more time lapses, but I'm kind of in a bra. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of finish whatever I can, and then I will update you guys afterwards. So, update I almost died. Um, because, as you can see, the bookshelf is slanted. Whatever I had on. Wait, where am I pointing? Here. I had something on both of those books. It was actually this, which I should have known this wasn't going to work. Um, it slipped out from under the bookshelf and the whole side fell and all of the books were already on there, so I'm just gonna leave <laughs> Probably a really bad idea, but I'm Almost finished and if I decide that I'm really worried about it I will take them all down and figure something else out to put underneath it to where the bookshelf is even but for now <laughs> I'm just leaving it. Everything is almost done. Um, I just have to get all of this stuff out of the way so that way I can move the bed more over and then um, clean, basically clean up everything and then make my bed and everything will be done. So it's pretty much all I have to do left. Um, so yeah, also this is probably my favorite part of the room. Like, I love it. It looks so good. I'm so happy. So anyways, um, but yeah, that's that's all I have left to do, and then we'll be done, so. Okay, so I know I didn't film that much of me doing the room, but I have finished, and I'm going to show you guys the finished, pr finished product, as well as the fallen bookshelf that almost killed me. Um, so, let's do it. So here's my bedroom door. Um, here's my little side table. This actually lights up, but... Um, if I can actually coordinate myself to do things right, there we go, it lights up, um, makes it look a little bit more cute. Here is the bed, and then there is another table over there, but Sarah's gonna bring her own side table so it's taller, and then Remy's cage, this is the bookshelf that almost killed me, but it's fine, um, there's Milo's cage, that's my new puppy. Uh, the desk. There's a few things for Remy and a pool floaty and Milo's puppy pads up there. Um, this still has all of my makeup and stuff in it, but this is going to be her desk when she moves in. Bulletin board, PlayStation, Xbox, TV, plant. Hello. Um, then there is my desk with all of my textbooks and cookbooks and my computer and cool stuff like that. Closet. And then... 
This is my favorite part, like I showed you guys earlier. My mirror has all of my lotions and body stuff. And then this just has more clothes in it. Um, those are bags that need to go to Goodwill. But, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the whole bedroom situation. Um, I'm not going to end the vlog just yet because I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything else. I'm actually going to sit here and watch some of Adeline Morin's videos because Sarah has gotten me into watching her videos. So I'm going to sit here and watch them and chill and hang out. So, um, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I just got done putting my laundry away and then I put my other bed set that I have, which it's like a white knit blanket and my other set of sheets in the washer. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else I have to do, but I actually did want to do an, did want to do an unboxing with you guys. Um, I've actually already unboxed it, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. So some of you guys may or may not have heard of this company before. I feel like most people have. Um, I'm also not sponsored to talk about them. I just love them. Um, I was subscribed to them for a year and a half and then my subscription I canceled and then I just recently got back on it. But we're going to talk about Ipsy <laughs> because I love this company so much. Um, I was originally doing their like $12, $15 bag, the small one where you get only samples. Um, I got a lot of skincare from them. I tend to get a lot of liquid eyeliner from them as well. Um, but I absolutely love their company. It's amazing. It's also Ipsy. I think their headquarters is in Fort Worth, Texas, which is actually where I was born, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what June's box was. So if you do the, I think it's $30 a month for this box, you get five full size products. Um, I think there is another one that you can get that gives you eight products so it's five full size and three sample sizes I'm pretty sure but I just stuck with this one <laughs> so um, I already know what I got because I've already opened it but this is the bag for this month um, which is really cute and summery and then this is the info card it doesn't really give you <laughs> any info on any of the products in here but um it's fine usually they do they give you all of the it's basically like a spoiler card for the box but anyways so the first product that i have in here is this ciate marbled metals uh, metallic glitter eyeshadow i did swatch this already and i'm not the biggest fan of glitter eyeshadows but this is in the color wicked and it's very beautiful. I swatched it and thought it was so pretty. Um, it's a purple. And I probably won't ever use it. Um, but I don't know. I can't decide on if I wanted to give it to my sister or my mom or Sarah when she gets here. Um, but yeah. Again, like I said, Ipsy tends to send me a lot of liquid eyeliners. So it was no surprise when I got another liquid eyeliner. This is from the brand Araceli. Um, it's the called the Perfect Liquid Eyeliner. It's in the shade Night. So, oh, that's a nice little tip there. Anyways, um, yeah. So, they tend to send me a lot of liquid eye eyeliners, so I was not surprised when they sent me another one. The next product that's in here that I'm actually really excited about, it is the Flesh, um, Flesh to Flesh Highlighting Powder. It's in the shade Certain, and it's actually, I'm kind of nervous about it because it's kind of pink looking. Um, so, I do have like a very pale skin tone, so maybe it won't look too bad, but, oh, okay, it's not too bad. You can't really see it, but I don't like like a blinding highlight. I feel like this could be like a very natural highlight kind of day. Also, love the packaging. It's very simple and cute. Um... 
and it's also very soft. But it says, run your finger over this powder. Can you believe how soft it contains coconut and sunflower seed oils, plus pomegranate and ginger root extracts? Does it smell? I always have to, like, check and see if they smell. Is that, is that just me? It doesn't really smell like anything, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it looks very beautiful. I definitely will keep this and try it at some point. The next product that I'm actually really excited to try is the Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So it looks like this. I've actually never, never heard of this before, but I'm really excited to try it because I'm always looking for a good new primer. Um, so hopefully, what are you doing? <laughs> hopefully this one is really good. Do you want to come say hi, Milo? No? You don't want to come say hi? Okay. Anyways, the last product that I got, there's actually two of them. Actually, there's six of them. But it is these two packets with three each of um, face masks. They're from Jajun Cosmetics. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but one is the Wake Pure She's So Calming Mask. Um, I don't know if this is technically considered like an indie brand. I'm not 100% sure. I've never heard of their face masks before, so I'm kind of excited to try them. Um, but this one is a calming mask. This one is the Wake Pure Sea Berry Brightening Mask. And then the Avocado Nourishing Mask. So, really excited. Um, hopefully they do really well because... We always love a good face mask, but then I also have other ones of them as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to try all these products. It's kind of, what I love about Ipsy is you don't always have to look on the website of what, exactly what you're getting, which when I was first getting my Ipsy bags, I wouldn't do. So every time they came in, I was just seeing everything that I got for the first time. And it was almost like getting a present every single month. And it was it's one of my favorite things ever. Um, but I did look at uh, my spoiler thing for my info card to see what I was getting. And that's what I got. And I was really excited. So, um, yeah, you guys should subscribe to Ipsy if you haven't already. I'm not being told to say this. I just genuinely love their company and love them so much. So, um... Okay, so I'm officially stupid because it is currently 9.30 p.m. And I forgot to close out today's vlog because I took a nap earlier today and just woke up. So now I'm going to end up being up all night and Sarah's going to kill me. But um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being in my, for being in my vlog. No, for watching my vlog. I did not realize my cat was in here. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. It's exciting to be back. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.